Hello, Lolo. Come by and welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. In this video, we're going to be looking at 10 decks of the week, as always. There's just a wide range of decks. Just trying to show a little bit of everything. And yeah, so let's just get into it and then we'll talk about Wicked at the end. First up, we have Tribunal. Tribunal's in a weird spot because the, the, like, the big counters are Enchantress and like Super Scroll, which are hard to fit into decks without giving up a lot, right? Like they fit into like maybe a Sarah and an Irish and stuff like that. They can afford to put in a couple of extra flex spots. But other than that, like the deck's main counters don't get played. Obviously, you've got like uh, Hazmat type stuff and Alive can beat it and NTW can deal with it, which I've done quite a lot of times. But other than that, it's just not like if you get to do what you want with Tribunal, you are hard to beat. So it's in here for that reason. Next up, we have Surfer. Surf is one of those decks that are just good, right? It's just one of those standard good decks. And it's because they keep adding fantastic freeze, right? They've had what? Nocturne, Cassandra, Copycat, a new Loki even, all in here that are just like good free drops that we've had, had, had added to the game recently. You have a look, is there any other, other ones? Uh, Change to Moon Knight was fantastic. Pastos was okay, look, we've had Red Guardian recently. Uh, Baron was a decent card. Gladiator's good. It's been a while since I've Gladiator. Hope. There's, look, there's so many good, and this is not including like the old Storm type stuff we locked down at NTW. Like, there is so many good frees, so Surf is in a fantastic spot. You've got the Killmonger because of the Zoom matchups. That's why you got the Killmonger one. Next up, we have Ongoing stuff. Uh, this is just kind of in here for why not right same with the first deck the tribunal stuff the big counters aren't really play which is enchantress and super scroll type stuff so outside of that you have this deck you can help deal with zoo stuff with mojo and cosmo uh man thing stuff like that you can just really lock down a lane with like gene gray cosmo and you got claw that reaches across or mega red so you have plenty of options for there next up we have the zoo zoo like this card here marble boy made zoo but Zoo was always a deck that was okay, but it never could put the, I want to say the pressure on, right? You could never keep up with the tempo because your real buffs came on turn four and five, right? Where you're playing like uh, Kazar Blue Marvel stuff, right? Which was nice, but at the same time, it's a bit slow, right? So now you've got Marvel Boy down and you can pop off a little bit more. It opens up the deck. It's real nice. Next up, Arishim, like I said, like a deck like this, it can fit Enchantress in here. Uh, what, they added, what, three cards to him? Uh, it slowed him down a little bit, but still a great deck. It's the one plus one power, it's just great. Be interesting to see how they change him next without killing it. I don't want the card to be dead, but it's still pretty cool. Card design is just super annoying. Next up, Patriot. Same with Zeus, it's kind of been everywhere, right? Uh, it was done a lot. Pretty good. And it's a deck that can run Sandman to stop all these bounce type stuff. Or like, uh, it was aimed at stopping the Fina stuff. Now the Fina got nerfed a little bit. I don't even think I've got the Kitty Fina combo in any of these decks right now. Which is nice, because I was sick and tired of putting it in every deck. Next up, Discard. Discard is one of these cards that have kind of just run into a problem that's got too many good cards that you kind of want to play right this first just got strong guy which i'd not play myself personally i just don't think it fits in here i'd, I'd rather have like a gambit or something like that right instead but yeah like with moon knight getting buff now it's pretty nice you get to fit the proxima in here you you've got meek that can grow all these different cards that are just actually good it's just and apocalypse got his power back recently which is nice I do another discard deck. I haven't played enough discard. That's what I've realized. <laughs> Next up, we have the good stuff type stuff with the Moon Knight change. Just made it a perfect one two combo with Proxima. You don't need to play any even cards. You can play even cards if you don't you don't mind getting rid of them. Like, I would not be against playing like some two drops. I ran the Moon Knight Proxima in Mill and I was running a. What's this called? Bishop? No. Oh my god, I've played the card so much. Cable. And I didn't mind. Like if I hit Cable, it's fine, right? It didn't, didn't actually matter much. Uh, next up, we have Haivo with Marble Boy and a lot of one drops. 
and it's got Wiccan in here. Uh, not much really, so it's pretty much just standard high evil stuff, but you get the extra power from Wiccan in here. You do have Domino to co cover the twos. I was preferred to go with Mariah Hill in my Wiccan decks, because she covers the one and the two, if you draw her on one. Pretty nice. And lastly, we have a Thanos deck. Yeah, he got his stone back down to one. The Lockjaw got changed, so you can put more put more stuff in him on the turn, right? You can back to his old self. That was a buff a little while ago. But, yeah, pretty much. Throw stuff in the dog. Hopefully, dog draws something good. Pretty standard. Anyways, let's talk about Wicked. Honestly, this card has a little bit of potential, but it requires way too much for so little, right? It just requires too much. It requires you to probably play an extra one or two card drop that you don't really want to play. The threes are fine because there's so many of them, like I said before. But it requires you just to play that extra one or two cost card. And then because you're playing that, you probably don't even have big cards to make the most of it. So it's super awkward, man. I, I expect to get a change at some point. I think it was just a little bad and slow. Anyway, that's enough rambling. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you tomorrow for another video. Peace.